Hey guys, that's Rodney here. I'm going to do a short video of my 2017 Chevy Silverado. I'm getting ready to take it in and have dual exhaust put on it. Right now it's just stock quiet exhaust. So, uh, got about 100,000, 110,000 miles on her. But, uh, just can't take the quiet exhaust. So, Right now we've just got single exhaust coming out the right side like everybody else. Right there. It, uh, it's pretty quiet. I will uh, start it up and let you guys hear it real quick. does sound like it might have an exhaust leak up here hopefully that's going to be fixed when they change it I'll have to have them look at that too but it's all black in the front they haven't had it real long to uh, change anything really um, really like the truck I've only had it for about three weeks, so. That's what she sounds like now. Pretty quiet. Gotta unlock it first, I forgot. Did you guys hear what she sounds like on the inside here? quiet I'll do another video here as soon as I get her back from the exhaust shop here in a little bit and uh, let's listen uh, back with another update uh, I've done a few things to the truck I uh, did get the dual exhaust put on which is the first thing I'm going to show you uh, along with a uh, I did the uh, two inch spacer lift in the front here as you can probably see uh, from my last video it's definitely noticeable but uh, we're gonna check out the dual exhaust first I did have the uh, catalytics all just taken out uh, after well, the, not the catalytics the the third catalytic which is I don't know if it's a resignator or what but and just had dual pipes straight out the back <clears throat> it is a little louder than what I expected uh, but uh it sounds really good so chrome tips under the behind the back wheel there and you can see some of the exhaust up inside there there's some of the new exhaust <clears throat> dual pipes uh, and it did have the exhaust leak like i had mentioned before right where the driver's side doors at the uh, third converter or whatever it is there was leaking so they just cut that out which did make it a little bit louder so um, that was part of the reason it's so much louder. We will start it up here and let you guys hear it. It is definitely loud. She's got lots of crack to her now. good and 
I did do the spacer lift in the front end. I don't know if you can see it down in there. There's uh, spacers right there on each side. They just go up underneath the shock tower there. So it wasn't too bad. It took me four or five hours total probably to do both sides. So, but uh, the next thing we're going to work on, and it's going to be in a little separate little video. Now, these won't be long videos by any means, but uh, the uh, V4, as you can see down there in the corner, it says V8 right now. Uh, it does switch to V4 mode, which cuts off four of the cylinders cut off as you're going down the road. And uh, then it feels, it just sounds like it's falling on its face, which it pretty much is. And uh, it's supposed to save fuel but uh it's not you know something that i like at all especially with the dual exhaust you can really hear it now so it's just flat on its face when it's even going slow it does it all the way you know down the road it, it kicks down like it's in a another overdrive gear or something and then when you step on the gas it kicks back up so we're gonna get rid of that uh i've got a module that we're gonna use so but uh, that wraps up this video for the dual exhaust. Uh, I did talk a little bit about the lift. I didn't videotape the, putting the lift on. Because uh, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's not that bad. Um, but uh, And I may go into detail on, a, on one of the other, another video on it. And just, just uh, explain what I did and everything. But there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. So, but... Uh, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, dual exhaust, it sounds much better. So I'll see you on the next one.